So I'm working on my order for this clutch pocketbook. The Louis Vuitton logos they want on it. And I'm doing piece by piece for his um I already engraved this part and then I'm engraving this part and then I'm gonna put some on here. And that's gonna and then I had to make a strap and everything for it. So it's in the glow forge. And it's almost ready to go. Already done. Now I'm doing this part. You see it's starting to grave already. And I don't really mess with the settings too much. I basically leave the settings as it is. When I finish this cut, I'm gonna wipe it down a little bit and clean the lens off to make sure my cuts are perfect. This is what the pattern looks like once the gold forge cut it out. This is the pattern. And then it gives you some soft pieces to go on there. So stay tuned. Almost done. I'm putting the middle in now. And then I can start making my straps. This thing pretty fast. I've been working on a wooden pocketbook as part of my DIY today, but everything I do is in steps. So some steps I did, I will add them in. So I put my wood in there and I ordered this pattern. The clutch pattern comes from Etsy. And um, I put the, um, the logo on it that she wants. So I put that on there and when I put it together, gonna look like this so maybe like this one so I'm gonna put it together this all this the only thing it cuts out it's only gonna cut out this and it's gonna cut out these side pieces so and everything has to be glued together To be glued together. Let me start from here. So I always put them together with stick a little E6000 in there. And this E6000 is a pain in the butt. You can barely hardly get it out. Because it get all raggedy and matted. Oh, nasty. Once it get all nasty like this, there ain't too much you can do. Okay. <laughs> look how they look. Isn't that nasty? No matter what we do, it's not easy to take take care of this E6000. So it's going to rub a little bit on top. Put a piece in there. So... When you when you cut these pieces out, they're not always gonna be perfect. So I had to use a little sandpaper to shave it down. And then it don't give you side pieces, so it'll tell you how you're supposed to carry it and all that stuff in your hand. But it's still a nice clutch. I sold quite a few. I love my glue forge. <laughs> well actually I love all my equipment. <laughs> Stick this one here. You get put inside like that. And, um, I made these little pieces for the side pieces. I did them on my own. And then you need some some hooks 
I'm using hooks. Now, people can use chains if they want. I'm going to make my strap out of this um, rope. Rope. It's like a rope. So, hi, everybody, Ben. It's been nice talking to y'all. Y'all seem to like my husband. All the comments was very nice. His head is swole right now. He feel like he, he like a, oh, everybody like me. Check and check and see how many people, how many people hit, uh, 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 saw my video. So now, the little monster has been created. The little monster wants to come in my room now. Tell me, what are you doing the next video? We want to do video together. We're going to be doing all our videos together. No, I didn't say you was going to be in my room all the time, husband. Didn't say that. I'm going to probably put another video out for him. I guess what y'all, he talking about he want to make a diva reef. <laughs> this time that he has out of work, he going to drive me crazy. So these pieces got to fold over like that and go into the hose. And then we got to do the other side. And this is where all the trickiness comes because you got to make sure everything line up. Just, nothing comes easy. So you got to make sure that piece stay on. Make sure everything line up. Make sure that glue's tapping. give it to somebody and then it falls apart when I finish paying I'm gonna do some um some sealing on it you don't look like it went all the way through you find something to tap it so I couldn't find that to tap it so I'm gonna tap it with this lightly Make sure you get in the groove. You don't want to break it. So I'd like to say thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. This is a Glow Forge clutch. A Glow Forge clutch. I'll be doing the other one, the other clutch, eventually. But these are some of the things people want to know, you know, should they go out and purchase a Glowforge? If you want to expand your business, make more money, yes, you should consider it. I don't see why not. They had the basic. I think they cost like $2,500. And then you have the next size. So, that's pretty much all you get when you order it from the shop. So, everything else you pretty much have to make on your own. Everything else. You have to make on your own. But I'm glad y'all liking my video. I see y'all. I see everybody been subscribing and hitting me up. We've been having conversation. Everybody's so nice. I've talked to so many people. And I'm glad everybody doing their thing. So I'm just going to add a bit of rubber band right here. Just know these pieces are very sensitive. So don't go like crazy with the pieces. When I finish, I'm going to put a, a line in there. That's just to keep it in place. It shouldn't come apart. That's why I put the um, side pieces on there. Hold it down. I got some magnets that I can put on there. So, the side pieces look like this. So, and then you have these pieces here, which is the big ring and the small ring. Because I'm going to make my own straps. For the pocket roll. So 
So that's where these two pieces come at. I have my thread and my needle because I'm going to make my own strap for the pocketbook. When I first bought this file, I made like 10 and they went really, really fast. Like people really like it. You know, it's something different. Everybody wants different. And then you can get any anything you want on the front of it. I'm going to spray it. It's going to change the color a little bit. So I'm going to be putting this these pieces here that I made, which is um two pieces, two little teeny squares. And I had to come up with this uh, on my own because I think the people carrying the clutches in their hand like this, they're not really having straps on it. So mine has to have strap because I don't like carrying nothing in my hand. I would leave it somewhere. So you got two little squares in here and then you have a long piece. And I got a whole bag of them ready. So when it comes to the design comes with these pieces, these hearts. And I didn't want hearts on the pocketbook. So it's come up with my own. So what I'm going to do is going to go here. It's going to go here. And I'm going to put it on up like this, straight up and down. Because I'm going to put it straight up and down. Because I got to add my strap on there. This piece right here. So this is going to go on here. It's gonna look like something don't look right. It's always something that don't look right. See, I ain't made one in a minute. So you're gonna pick the ring and just put the ring inside. Decide where you want to put it. I'm gonna line it up with here. Line it up like that. And gonna add some E6000 to it. And that's gonna make make that hold on to the thing so don't forget y'all to like and subscribe to my channel i have uh, some other glow force projects that i've ordered from etsy so this is just gonna sit on here like this see and the reason why i put it upside down so when i hook when i put my string on here and connect it to here then it has a base and then I hold that in place and it rub in too tight yep I had to figure out how to make my own little strappy strap thing on here and this one I need a little glue all around the place so I guess husband Husband Kevin will be in here making these pocketbooks soon because he didn't want to get all the dang on orders for him. Every time I turn around, he got another order for another pocketbook. Well, I got another order for the pocketbook, but go ahead and drop your order off. Yeah, but everybody thought he was so funny. They were like, ah, oh, your husband's so funny. He's so funny. Said they want to see more, huh? So they can see more, huh? It's okay. He still got another month. He don't go back to work till after April. So he still got another whole month. And he already feeling like the man. I made a beer and everybody liked me. And I'm going to, um, <laughs> I'm going to make some more stuff. I'm going to take care of it. Make some more stuff, Calvin. Even though I like being in my room by myself. But he funny. He too funny. He can stay. So I put the straps on. Here. Now I got to Now the straps. The straps going to be out of the string. I have to decide how much. How much. That's the other pocketbook. How much I want the string to hang. So we can start long. And I'm a short person, so I make sure like if the pocketbook is for a taller person, they're gonna need more, more strap. 
that, that might be enough. They don't want to hang it, but so, so, so long. You want to keep it close to you. You want to dangle it and hang it and hit and all stuff. So, I guess about right here. So, while that dry, I'm going to work on this string here. And everybody, and if you decide to make these pocketbooks, you don't have to make your own straps. It's just, I like to make my own straps. So I'm gonna put maybe three pieces of the strap. We're gonna do them in threes. So I think we'll get some more string from Michael's. So my string is gonna be a flat. That's better. So I had to thread my string. So now that's done. Make sure my thing ain't sliding. You don't want it to start sliding in place. You want everything to stay in place while it's dry. Oh, that's heavy. But you don't want, you don't want it moving out of place. Everybody sees everything. So you don't want to move it on the place when everybody check because you're gonna check it out when you give it to them. I don't like nobody ever gonna complain about nothing I do. I gotta make sure it's on point every time. So I got my string together, my thread. straps. I have my straps. So what I'm going to do, I'm taking these three parts together, put them inside this hook here. And if y'all like, y'all can sign up for my Facebook group. It's called Crafting Together as One. That's the name of the group. If you have any questions, if you want to share your your things that you made, you know, if you want to get any ideas, you can get them from the group. My Facebook is very full. So sign up for the page, the crafting page. It's called Crafting Together as One. So y'all see how I flipped this over? Flip it over. Just basically just flip it over. And that's how you start of your thing. Your strap. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Because a lot of people are not seeing the things that I made. Because you haven't ring the bell and got the notification. And then there's some people that's on it. <laughs> Every time that bell rings. They let me know. Oh, Tracy, we watching your video. And that is so special. That people call me and tell me, Trace, we watching your videos. I ain't doing nothing but doing something I like. Something I love. So I'm putting this strap together. Because springtime is coming. Because people will want these pocketbooks. They conversation pieces. Don't think you want to be having them out in the water. The rain and all that kind of carrying on. That's what I'm doing. Basically just sewing it on there to make sure it don't come apart when somebody need it. That's all. Just sewing it on. So now that it's sewed on, I'm just going to 
You got a little straggly ends down there. I'm going to trim that a little bit. Clean it up some. You know, it's all about presentation. And I'm going to put, wrap it around. You know, my string done popped off. But it's all right. So I'm gonna wrap it, wrap it, just to give it a little extra security by wrapping it. That's all I got caught up in the strap and everything. So I wanna say that all y'all stuff is very beautiful. I'm glad y'all like the group. I hope y'all posting your links in your business and everything. It's actually here. It's almost six o'clock in the morning where I'm at. So I get up early. I like to do things early when people still sleeping. Nobody lets you get a break around here. Let's do that over. Because the string came in. Got all tangled and caught up in the top. So I have a Glowforge Pro. I had it for maybe almost about a year now. I only had one problem with it is that when I was cleaning it, some water got in around the strip on top of the glass. A little water got in. But I'm going to figure things out on my own. So I asked a few people and then I watched some videos and I, the strap was probably the electrical strap around that makes the um the lens focus had burned out from the water so i ordered a new piece that came in about two days and i put it i put it on my own stuff and i haven't had no problems with it since so i have my vent it's vented out the window i will show y'all that and i still have my air conditioner in my window too I haven't take it out. Sometimes it get hot in here. Depends on what I'm doing. It gets hot. Okay, that's done. That's done. So I got the camera repositioned to show you how I make my strap. So I put a piece of ribbon around this pole, and this pole is connected with the glow forge just sitting on. And then I'm just gonna plait it. And I'm gonna make this plait. All the way to the end. In case y'all ask about my straps, that's how I make the straps. I sit here and plait them all one by one, like a regular plait you do for the hair. Nothing major. And I plait it. And when I get to the end, I'm going to do the end the same way I did the beginning. So that's what, that's what I had to do. So I've been repositioning this camera a lot. So y'all can see what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. I see y'all like talking to me. And I have done some, some surprise calls for people. Like if I see they asking questions and they want to know something. And a lot of times I don't like texting. So since I don't like texting... I would just answer the question or I would just just call randomly call them on the phone. They're like, oh my god, Tracy, you call my phone. Like it's only me. Nobody but little old me. Just somebody who who loves crafting because it's a peace of mind, keeps me busy. You know. I don't worry about nothing. Crafting makes me happy. That's all I need. My grandbaby was over yesterday, so I posted, I tried to get this video out yesterday, but she was there. And she, she, she loves grandma, and she needs a lot of attention. So, I got my strap, it's all nice. Let me get that together, reposition this camera again, and get to the next part. So everybody, the pocketbook is pretty much 
finished. My strap is done nicely. Around here, I'm going to add a little piece of leather around the top. A, leather, a piece of leather around here to clean it up a little bit. You know, so the string gonna show. And these are the straps for the pocketbook. Didn't know if I, I normally use my own height. You don't wanna have it dangling too much. And this might be dry right now. So that's what the little straps come in. You put the little straps on it. So this is a glow forge project. I think the file costs about $5, five to $7 on Etsy. And you can pretty much put any style or any design you want on the bag. Anything you want on the bag. So, this is one. And when you put the material on the bag, you put the material on it, on it while, before you put it in your glue forge. So, this is one that I already started working on. As a, for somebody then I will add some more material down here you know they wanted to match with the outfit and then I'll put the material back in but it's just Mod Podge the material on it put Mod Podge on top maybe one or two layers and then put it in the glow force and then it'll cut it all out together this one right here is this um leopard material that I have. I put it on top of here first and then I cut it out. And that's the back of it. And that's the inside. So a lining will go in here. A nice lining I will cut out, lay it on top, cut out the shape for the lining, glue it in here, just so the things won't fall out of the front. They won't fall out here, but this is not a kind of bag that you want to throw scissors and stuff in there and break it. So the pocketbook is pretty much done. That's how I look. It's all taped up. The straps. Can come off. So if you want to put a gold chain on, you can get a gold chain. You have to keep your strap in on me. But there you go. That's it. Now. I ordered some. The wood, I order my wood. I get the wood from Amazon. I mean, I, um, I get the wood from Etsy. The pattern come from Etsy for like five, six dollars. The wood come from Etsy. The, the magnets, the open and close the pocketbook. I can't get it apart. I don't know why I put it together, but I'm just gonna stick it here, stick it on the bottom, stick it on top of the E6000 and tape it up. And once I tape it up, once it dry completely, I will be able to open it. But right now, I can't get the two magnets apart. It's very strong. They can't come apart. Some of the pocketbooks I made were like a slip, a slide thing down there. So I'm just gonna measure where I wanna put this. That look like it's about right. Mark it a little bit. I should put it back in the right place. Put a little E6000 on the back. On the front, and it sticks really good. Just everything you gotta take patience and give it time to dry. This E6000 is the bottom. It stick now. That stuff ain't gonna come apart. So I got some more videos. I'm gonna do a caddy. A wine caddy my way. I found that fat file on Etsy. And that's it. So I'm going to put this on here. Leave it in place so it can dry. Add tape to it. Because you don't want to go moving it. You want it to stay still while it's dry. It don't, it don't take long to dry. You know, y'all know E6000 dries pretty fast. It dries pretty fast. Try to 
Ooh, take that. I'll try that one again. It's not sitting on it all the way like it should. You want to make sure it's it's on there so we can. You want that to. So it's on there. The magnet is under there. It's going to dry together like that. Just put some reinforcements on it because tape is not the best. And I don't want it falling apart before it dry. So I'll give it about a good 15, 20, 30 minutes. And it should be completely dry. I think my side pieces is dry. That's dry. My straps are on. Um, So the clutches are very easy. They're, you know, nice seller. You can put any design you want on it. The quotes on it, prayers on it, whatever you want, you can put it on here. You can add material and have a whole set with the earrings, bracelet, and the clutch. It's nice, y'all. <laughs> And then I got me a, look what I got. I cut out me a little LV. Yes, y'all don't have to text me and let me know about Pac-Man and all that kind of stuff. I made one pocketbook. Louis Vuitton is not going to knock on my door because I made one bag. When the file, this file for Louis Vuitton is not on, on Etsy that I had uploaded that from Google. Because that's what somebody wants. So y'all don't have to text me about patting in. And Louis Vuitton going to come and get me. They're not going to come and get me for one bag. One wooden bag. They're not going to do it. So that goes on top of it. A little extra added decoration. So... So maybe when, when Louis Vuitton get on my YouTube <laughs> and see that I made a bag, next next week they will come out with their own line of wooden clutches. <laughs> <coughs> they can come out with it. All right, so it's all done. It's all done. And when it's finished, I'll take the tape off and show y'all the ending. Look at my little pieces of wood. So if Louis Vuitton, y'all watching. You know, give me a little bit of credit <laughs> for the straps that I made and a little bit of credit for the piece of wood on the side. <laughs> well, yeah, all people using this stuff shouldn't be on the internet. That's how I feel. It's okay. So don't text me. Don't everybody text me at once and tell me about patenting and that and that. I did not sell nothing. Okay? Y'all heard that from me. This is for YouTube purpose. Okay? I don't know nothing. I ain't got no paperwork thing. I sold anything. I just put, had it engraved some LV on here, and that's it. Don't y'all go calling my phone, stressing me out about some patent, patent, patent. It's only one bag, and it's for the video. So, so uh, I'm going to put it in trash. I'm going to put it in trash. I'm going to put it in trash. <laughs> Bye. Hope y'all like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to set up for my next thing that I want to do. Because I'm not leaving no, out the house no time soon. There is a whole lot of patterns on Etsy that you can buy for the clutches. This is the thicker version of the clutch. They had a skinnier version of the clutch. I'm going to put my lining in here. Um, 
I'm going to spray it. We're just going to turn the color a little darker and seal it in. And think of my straps. So, mine's always got to be different when it comes to everything. I like to be different. I like to be different. Yeah, I know my husband Jamaican, right? So this pocket was gonna look cute when I'm winding it up at the party. Can't wait till Corona's over so me and him can get out and get out dance on. Isn't that cute? Y'all know that's cute. That's gonna look cute with my sundress on. Y'all see me gain weight? Good lordy. Okay. It's all over the place. It's all right. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I got a pack of books. I need a pack of books. Eh, 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 eh. Bye.